Hello there. Welcome to Tapless. It's me, Cassie, the friendly ghost. Don't worry, even though I'm an apparition, I can still taste beer. Speaking of beer, today we're gonna pair three Kansas City beers with classic horror movies to make it a little more spooky. I mean, special. <laughs> That was strange. Anyway, beer number one. Shock by Crane Brewing Company. A sour ale brewed with blueberries and lactose. So this was a collaboration with Screenland Armor and it also is brewed with blue raspberry sour candy, which is exciting. Uh, right now I just smell sour. <laughs> Whoa, that's like liquid Sour Patch Kids. And well, now that I know that there's blue raspberry sour candy in it, that's what I immediately go to. That's what it tastes like. But I think, yeah, you could you can tell that it, there's blueberry in there too. Very refreshing, kind of like <laughs> shocked <laughs> me tasting it. But I already am like, oh man, yeah, I want some more of that. That's really good. Obviously with this beer, uh, what better film to pair it with than the 1931 classic Frankenstein? I was drinking this as like getting shocked by lightning and coming to life. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. It's alive. Beer number two, from Black Stag Brewing Company in Lawrence, Kansas, we have Bamberg's Castle Ale. Okay, so we got pecans, oats, and lots of different roasty malts. It's got a lot of clarity for a brown ale. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It reminds me of like um, waffles, kind of. I don't know if I can like pick out that there's pecans in there, but it's got a good amount of nuttiness. Yeah, I don't know, just a, like a nice malty sweetness. Not overly so, it's because it's actually pretty light bodied. Oh, that's interesting. It's really, really drinkable. The classic horror film to watch with this beer is 1931's Dracula. Put yourself in Dracula's castle and whisk yourself away to England. This delicious English brown ale that tastes almost better than blood. Beer number three. The Witch by Torn Label. Oh, mama. A black ale with rosemary, sage, and black currant. Mm -mm -mm. Kind of a lavendery head on it. Smells very fruity, a little malty. Oh, yeah. Definitely black currant is the first thing. But you can tell that the herbs are making it a little bit more complex and a little bit more just interesting than just like a straight up sour beer would be. In this case, they say it's black ale, so it's got like a deep, you know, roasty malt characteristic as well. But yeah, the black currant brightening it up a bit. That is a good beer. The spooky movie that you should pair Torn Labels the Witch with is the very fine classic 1993's Hocus Pocus. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the potion that the Sanderson sisters were cooking up in the first place. I know that's not maybe what you consider to be a classic, but it's a classic to me. Talk about a witch's brew, am I right? Don't be boring this Halloween. Spice up your film life with perfectly paired beers. You're welcome. Until next time, happy Halloween. <laughs>